The University of Kentucky Wildcats held their annual media day at the Joe Craft Center yesterday, and John Calipari was in a joking mood as he spoke to the media about his team. When asked about defending the success he has had at Kentucky after the disappointment of last year, Cal ran through the accomplishments that his teams have had through his first 10 years. Visit the walk-in clinic at Irvin Primary Care on Friday evenings and weekends with no appointment necessary. A service of Mercy Health, Markham and Wallace Hospital. For those times when it's not serious enough to go to the ER, but you feel too sick to wait until Monday, visit Irvin Primary Care. Did I have to do that? Yes. You did. I did? Yes. With who? My wife was mad. I had to explain it to her. You don't get to the Final Four every year, and there's times buzzer beaters knock you out in overtime games, and you move on to the next group. But she, she didn't understand. I'm like, you're crazy. It's how it is. But, but how does that sit with you, with the fan base? Are you okay with it never being enough? Look, our fans are crazy, and I love them. But please don't take this wrong. I don't listen to them. I don't read it. Uh, can I go Twitter, Facebook? I give you stuff and never look at anything that comes. Not one thing. Never in since I've been here. Do I? If you write me a letter and it's not addressed, it doesn't even make my desk. It's thrown away. If you have a letter, I'll respond. Usually it's I handwrite it. But here's what I do know about this position when you're coaching here. Um, if you're worried about all that stuff, the clutter that's out there, you can't do this job and you can't be about the kids. You can't. You'll be under the desk in a fetal position. Your secretary will come in. Where do you go? Coach, are you, what are you doing under there? Come out of there. <laughs> so this is not one for the faint of heart, whether you're playing here or coaching here. And that's the first I heard anybody was mad that we haven't done enough. Didn't we? I thought they were all right. I did too. <laughs> <laughs> I think, wait a minute, in 10 years, did we win the most games? We have. The most Final Fours? Most Sweet 16, most Elite Eights. Elite Eights too? Oh, wow. <laughs> then how about SEC titles? Got five of them. What, six, about, six, what about the tournament? Six forever. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> So, and I'm saying the next 10 got to be better. And they're saying no one enough. Woo! Cal also talked about social media and the impact it's had on his team. These guys, are, they have social media training. Um, you know, we, they're, they're followed by this staff. And if anybody is moving toward a, an area that they're out of line, they'll be told about it. And then we, again, counsel them, educate them, look, this is what you're doing. Uh, my own son retweeted stuff. Why did you retweet that? I didn't tweet it. You retweeted it. It means you agree. Why would you retweet it? Oh, is that what it means? Yeah, that's what it means. That's my son. That's why he's at Detroit. <laughs> I'm, by the way, I'm, I'm talking to him every day, and... Uh, you know, the first practice kind of hit me. I, I'm not getting to coach him for the first time in three years. And, uh, but he's, his mother went up there and stayed five days with him and, uh, you know, told her she could stay up there. That's fine. <laughs> Kentucky will host Big Blue Madness next Friday as they officially get the 2019-2020 season started. For more updates on the Cats throughout the year, be sure to follow us here on WBONTV.com. I'm Michael Watkins.